I got to love opera from the moment that I began to be seriously interested in music. Um, and I recall during high school, I uh, went to the Juilliard Preparatory Division in New York and studied piano. My classes in piano and harmony were over by noon. By one o'clock, I was down at the old Met, standing on line for standing room. And I would see week after week all of these extraordinary performances with great artists and fell in love with these operas. I didn't expect to go into this field when I first began to study Italian opera. I was thrown into it because I began looking at available sources for some of the music of Rossini and I discovered that every single source that I looked at was different from every other source. And at a certain point, I had to ask myself, well, what did the man actually write? When the public sees an opera, they just assume this is all straightforward. But it's not, because every single thing that a singer does on stage has to pass through a whole process of learning. I mean, the singers don't know this music to begin with. They have to start with a score. The score has to be accurate. The score has to be performable and then they have constant decisions to make. I have to tell you that the one performer who I will always say was my favorite performer to work with was Marilyn Horn. Marilyn Horn was so important in reviving a whole range of opera that people simply didn't know anything about and she was a consummate professional. She could do anything. The voice was there and when she arrived at a rehearsal she knew the part letter perfect. She was always prepared. And I've been at rehearsals when she arrived for the first rehearsal knowing everything and others did not. And she would then play the prima donna and say, I'm going to my hotel room, tell me when you've learned the part. I learned so much about this style from her and from the people around her and the people with whom she worked that it can't even be, can't even be acknowledged. I began to know Italian through opera librettos. And sometimes it's pretty funny because I still have phrases that are 19th century phrases that I use. So uh, if you want to say sooner or later in Italian, today you would say prima o poi, before or after. In the 19th century you said tosto o tardi. I have sometimes said tosto o tardi and people look at me as if I'm crazy. What is this person speaking 19th century Italian at us? Uh, I persist. I do the best I can.